Hi there. My name is Miss Welch. I'm a substitute teacher here at uh, Sanford. Uh, I was in class today and Miss Dillinger was talking about earthquakes and we got to talking. I told her that I lived in California and living in California, you deal with a lot of earthquakes. Uh, I've been through quite a few, some serious, some not so serious. Um, I, I explained to her that there are different kinds of earthquakes. They're the ones that are kind of short and jerky. They last a few seconds. And then there's the rolling type that seem that last forever. They don't really, but they just seem that way because they're just rolling. Um, they're all scary. Uh, I, the biggest one I was in, it's about uh, 15 years ago in California. That's where they did a lot of damage. Um, I was at home and it's like six in the morning and you felt it and you jumped out of bed and it said to get in a doorway and I'm looking for my doorway, but I got in my doorway, but dressers fell, my cabinets in the kitchen came up and all my dishes fell on the floor. Uh, it can be very scary. Um, after the earthquake was over, there was a shortage of water. There was um, uh, all kinds of, one of the freeways, um, 101, um, it had a big crack in it, big hole, and you were driving down the freeway and then there was nothing, it just kind of disappeared. Um, we had, uh, it was quite an extensive amount of damage. Um, but it's something you get used to when you're living in California, and like I say, some of them are not so bad, they're quick and they're over with before you know it, there's no damage, no anything. But the ones that are big and cause damage can be very frightening. Um, and you know, if you're in California, you just learn to live with it until you leave. I hear they're expecting the, the big one any day now, so I'm glad I got out in time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much uh, sure, for sharing sure. this out.